welcome back to my channel. So wait, we do this like little song and dance. Teach me. Okay, so you have to go like this. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube yeah. friends. <laughs> but then like the move is like, you oh, have to. I didn't get that. I want you guys to learn this little dance with me every time you tune in. So anytime you see me, I want you to be like, and then we'll have a special connection. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed to lift your mood. Yeah. Three, two, one. Hello, Hello my, my friends, friends, my little YouTube friends. friends. I'm like filming yeah. Blue's Clues with two poodles. That's what it is. <laughs> we have the one, the only Queen Harvey. No, Queen. Queen Harvey. 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 <laughs> Queen Harvey. I am so excited to be here today. I can't believe this is where our first meeting brought us. It is pretty crazy. It's yeah. been a long road. I know. I feel like I've done so much diving into my soul like the past year. Just really started thinking about what's important to me, what I want to do in life. And I really found myself. Congratulations. You are one of the bravest people <laughs> for doing that. That shit, is, that shit is heavy. It was. It's it real. Was. And for anybody out there that's actually doing this, we salute you, bitch. You never really fully find it. No, it's the journey. Yeah. But the fact that you're brave enough to try or to yeah. chase it because some people really just stay the same forever. If I get too comfortable in a situation, I like to remove myself and then put myself in a situation that makes me uncomfortable again. Hmm. And like I get pushed up against a wall so then you can excel. Ah. She really came over to my house and was like, hey, so um, I fucks with you. Here's my life story. Do you think that we could write a song? And I was like, I already wrote a song. In my head. It's in my, like, I already know what it, like, we had the concept nailed down pretty much the first night. And then Nick and I just fucked around with some music and we were like, well, what does she sound like? Yeah. You know, like, what would that, this is the first time the world's going to see Harush. What does she sound like? What does it look like? And she had told me, like, this, this vision in her mind. And I was like, wow, she even thinks like me? Yeah. We're doing this. I can definitely relate to like what you stand for. And I think as an artist, it's like each artist's duty to kind of put forward a message. It's like, what do you want to contribute to the universe, to the mm. world? Whether it's like, I can pop my ass to it at the same time, but I can still be talking about taking vitamins, bitch. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter what I'm doing. It's like, what I'm thinking. I don't want to just be talking about like fucking bitches, the rims on my car. I mean, it's there. Yeah, we can talk about your car, but like, <laughs> yeah, where all is day the... long? But yeah, I've done. You know, I've been in music for a lot of. It feels like forever. So many years, and I I've made music that wasn't really with a purpose behind it. Because when you're coming up and you're hustling, you're like, I really want to like get the bag and like have that status and get earn that power and be famous. And I think we're both in a really unique situation in our lives right now that we came together at this exact moment because you are world famous. She was literally like, um, I'm getting like on the news in Armenia for like some shit, like in the tabloids. I'm like, what? This is like your everyday life that you have to deal with. I think I build like a separate career. Like never in my life would you say that like, oh, you're gonna release a song would I have probably have believed you. I've built a career off of being um, an educator, a makeup artist. I don't know, just somebody that works with brands. I'm a celebrity makeup artist, as you guys know. And- There's literally no other music artist that can say this. I've been blessed with that opportunity and that journey that I've had in life because like to me, like one thing I live by, it's like I like to make everything beautiful around me. The only thing that gives lasting happiness is giving it to others. I definitely agree with you because the more you put out, the more you always receive. Before I started working with celebrities, I really think that I was like, I was clueless. About what? Just like, about what actually goes on behind yeah. the scenes. I think a lot of people want to know yeah. this tea. Like they want the yeah. real scoop. Like what is it really like? And it's, yeah. I don't even think you can explain it. You can't, you have to be such a strong individual as a human being to be in the public eye like that. Like the family that I work with, um, that I definitely- they, It rhymes they, with schmarshmashian. <laughs> I think that they contributed a lot to like me being exposed to a bigger audience. Yeah number one, because I was able to display like my work on 
the biggest family in the world and the amount of work you need to put in to stay at the top is crazy it's and insane and to maintain that yeah and to stay there for how many seasons did they do 18 seasons that's why i respect them so much i'm so inspired by everything yeah because i'm like this has never happened in the history of humans television or like what reality show has lost it that long you really can't deny what they built to stay there to be there to maintain it like you just first of all i think like you always have to have a kind heart i've never met like anybody that's like not kind right like because the universe really has a funny way of rewarding those that are like good and i think what both of us like try to talk about in the music is this is just perfect. be kind you know putting hatred on top of hatred doesn't ever get rid of hatred so it doesn't wish him well exactly <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> i think wish him well is my response to anyone that's ever been nasty to me anyone that's ever tried to put me down or to those people that at the correct time they said something nasty to me that like broke me down because mm. you never know what like anybody is like going through it might just be the universe talking through them to you yeah you can't take it personal yeah it's a lesson for you it is and i think what happened to me with people talking negatively about me like it got to me and i was like i'm gonna fix myself <laughs> and i tried to fix myself then i almost died that's a whole different story that for shit was crazy yeah, when I she know. told me about this i i literally that's like for another time but then after this happened, like, I was like, why me? Like, I'm, I gained so much weight. Like, why me? Why did this happen to me? Like, why do I look this way? Why do I have all these scars now? Like, it's just, like, so bothersome. Like, I tried to look prettier, but I ended up looking, at the time, uglier. That gave me this opportunity to really sit down and evaluate myself as a mm. human being. And I didn't like what I saw. To be honest, like, I was on a lot of drugs. Yes, which is not helping yeah so supposed to help but it's not helping yeah i was on like dilaudid i was on so so many things i don't even remember so like for me it just felt empty mm. you know and i felt empty for like a little bit and then i started like thinking like i don't want to feel empty i want to be full mm. so i took some time off for myself I started like writing hmm. and then I started like listening to meditations, hmm. talking to healers, hmm. talking to shaman and like what they told me was just you have to like tell your story. If I had not been through what I went through, I would be the one rapping about my rims, mm. how many bracelets I got on. We would have a different record. Yeah. I probably wouldn't even know you. Yeah, basically. <laughs> like, I was like that party girl, the life of, I'm still the life of yes, the party. Yes, she is. I mean, I, I love to have a good time. As hard as I work, I you like to You don't have to harder. change all of yourself. Yeah, exactly. It's just those broken parts. Exactly. That's it. And my broken part was just like, I felt like I had no purpose anymore. Hmm. Actually, yesterday, I want to like clear up one more thing. Mm. Yesterday, I had a comment in my YouTube videos. Mm. I was like, you're um, whoever, whoever you are, I'm not going to give you the attention. Mm -mm. But you said um, you're a professional like celebrity makeup artist. What are you doing? Are you bored? Do you need to make more money that you're like a YouTuber now? First of all, oh. bitch. Bored? Bitch. Is she bored? Bored, bored. Um, <laughs> you need to put a lot of effort and confidence into making these videos. So mm -hmm. don't diss any YouTuber out there, big or small. Yep. It doesn't matter. It takes a lot to make these motherfucking videos, bitch. Number one. Number two, I could do whatever the fuck I want to do. Who are you to set standards on anyone? Like, if you keep yourself at one level, stay there, babe. But don't, like, spread... Mm. That, that energy or vibration on anybody else. Maybe people want to do more with their life. Like, you don't see us judging you. Like, that's all you want to do? Crazy. You know, like, everyone has their own purpose and everyone moves at their own pace. True. Compassion. Always. Yeah, if you see a hater, mm -hmm. wish him well. Wish him well. <laughs> I was inspired by Harusha's story. 
and her life and I don't normally write songs with other people I usually just sit alone and write songs for myself so this was really fun for me I like found out that I'm very inspired by other people's stories and I saw this character like I look at every by the way I'm like the biggest advocate for female rappers because there's not enough females in the game but I see everyone as a character like almost like a like a superhero and I saw her and I was like what what kind of car do you drive like I need to describe the scene and set the scene and then make sure to incorporate all those good messages of like spirituality that she's so heavy about, about. anyone that's ever put me down even like to a breaking point like I don't wish ill upon anybody and I think it's very important for you guys to like put out your intention to always be positive. Therefore, the title came about Wish Him Well. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes when I like have to clap back, like I'll always feel bad a little bit. Right? Because I'm like, oh, what if that person was having a bad day? Then I just like... And it, what happens is you suppress that little tiny feeling yeah. of not of feeling bad. And over time, it compounds into like a freaking mess in your, in your yeah. body, in your aura. It does. And I had like false confidence before. Like, I feel like now there ain't nothing anyone could tell me. Like, if you made me do this, like, even if I had the biggest opportunity, I'd probably turn it down. But I think that, like, hi, mommy. Oh. Hi, mommy. And I ended up getting Aliyah after, too. Yeah. As my little emotional support She's monkey. perfect. Oh, my bear. She's my Care Bear. She's so sweet. Pachik. Pachik, too. This is my giant Care Bear. <laughs> um, he's, like, the giant version of her. Yep. That's how we really met. And they're the both. They both don't like each other at all. And yeah, we met at the dog park and they were like fighting and we were like, sweet. Cute. Let's we hang should out. be friends. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Right? <laughs> she just needs a second. Oh, I'm sorry, mommy. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I've been raised heavily in music mm. because my mother, her dream in life was to be an opera singer. Um, and I like didn't have a babysitter in Armenia. Like, you know, that's like a luxury. So <laughs> I grew up in different opera houses because my mom would practice and I would sit there and literally like sit there like this and watch her and like mimic her. I went to this like little Armenian theater school called Hekyat Nekonchom and I would like record songs in Armenian mm. and sorry. Record I, labels. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> I would record songs in Armenian um, for like little Armenian commercials on the Armenian channel. <laughs> Nobody really knew this. I'll put a couple. They're like really funny. They made me dress up like a pizza, put a mustache on me, and made me like dance and sing around like a pizza. Literally. And that's, this is amazing. This is gold. From where to where, honey. <laughs> um, and once I got into the process of it, taking vocal lessons, you know, meeting with Amy and Nick, um, they were so amazing and like I felt so inspired hanging out with them like every minute. I said if I was gonna do this, I'm gonna like dump like, <laughs> everything, like literally dog stripped out, <laughs> dump my whole life into it, my soul, my energy, everything needs to go into this one song. Mm. And we shot a video for it. Sickening. <sighs> so sickening. It's just, it's crazy, like it's crazy what being kind to yourself can get you. Mm -hmm. I'm a pretty zen bitch, hit him with the bill. Is, I'm zen. Like and I'm she's centered. Pretty. And she's yeah. pretty. And she's pretty too. And she's cute cute or whatever. But she's also pretty zen, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? <It's> it. <laughs> I'm a pretty zen bitch, hit him with the bell. Mm-hmm. Dismiss all these negative energies. Out you go, motherfuckers. I don't want you in my motherfucking aura and around me, in my vicinity. Birch. That's what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting by the pool, meditating in Chanel. Means you get a bag, I get a pool. This one outfit I wore during this like little journey I was having. Mm -hmm. And it was two Chanel suspenders and it was like cross and I wasn't wearing um, anything. a bra. And it was a very important moment for me because um, my surgery was a breast lift and a reduction mm. that I got the infection from and I have a lot of scars. And I'm one body part I'm like very insecure about is my breasts. Mm. And when I wore the Chanel straps, I just felt like 
That was like the it first. Was, yeah. But it was like the first time that after what happened to me, mm. I felt confident about my breasts to show them off. That's dope. You get a bag and tumble and fumble it, but I get a pool because you can have a lot more monies in a pool. There is a higher cha-ching, cha-ching amount in a pool if you take it out and like count it. It's a larger volume, sir. Yeah, sir. We more like, money. We like the more, the more ounces, the better. Yes. Mm -hmm with hair and money, right? <laughs> Mama always said that my word is like a spell. So my mom has raised me super positive. Mm, that's good. I was brought up in a society where it's super sexist. Mm. And my mom always gave me that power of no, like don't get married early. Like mm. these were words straight out of her mouth where like you have to get married when you're 18, 19, 20 years old, like in the community at that time. I'm not saying everyone's like this. Mm. Small That's towns Armenian. Are like that too. Mm -hmm. Like it just like the area maybe where I grew up was like this. So she would always be like, don't get married, live your life, be who you want to be, like be your own person. Mm. And she worked with children and family services. Mm. So like she's seen some crazy situations and like she always made sure to come and tell me these stories and be like, you're so lucky, you're so blessed, you're so da da da. So when I would like say bad things to other people, she'd always be like, your word is so powerful. Like don't say bad things about others. Mama always said that your word is like a spell. It is because what you think you manifest. Mm. So always be cautious of what you say because that's what you're bringing into your life. Blessings coming back like they're going on sale. I'm gonna bless every single person that crosses my path, good or bad, whether they had good intention, bad intention. I'm gonna bless you, boo-boo. And it's gonna come back like a back to school sale. Buy one, get one free, folks. How are you gonna win if you only give them hell? Wish them well, mm -mm. wish them well. Mm -mm. How are you gonna win if you only give people hell? You- It's a good question. You live in the world you put out. So if you wanna put out hell to somebody, guess where you're moving, baby? Mm. So put out positivity, it'll reflect back on you. Life is a mirror. So how are you gonna win if you only give them hell? So if like you wanna stoop down so low to like get even with somebody that just doesn't know any better, you're gonna live in the same Vibration. Vibration and realm. I got purple kush. I got a purple aura. I smoke purple kush. <laughs> I have a purple aura. <laughs> and I have a purple aura. Um, cut to one of my spiritual people that I see um, has told me that I have a purple aura after my born again situation. And you should look up what a purple aura means. It means that I'm very creative, like intuitive. Purple Kush, weed saved my life, man. Like mm. if I had not started smoking weed after what happened to me, like I was in a lot of pain. I didn't walk for a little bit. I would have been stuck on, you know, codeine, Percocet, Norco. And I just started smoking weed instead and took away the pain and it really opened my mind. Got a custom fragrance like I own Sephora. When Harush walked in my house, I was like, what is this a glorious angelic smell? <laughs> and she's literally like, no, it's, if I told you what it was, you would laugh because like other people have tried wearing it and it doesn't smell like it does on me. And she's absolutely right. Like it's the best smell in the world. And it lingers yeah. too. After you it leave, does, it's always it like, oh, Harush is here. <laughs> yeah. So like I've even had clients like say like, oh, I knew you were here because I smelled you when I was upstairs. I don't know what it is about like my skin and how it receives oils. I don't wear like perfume perfume. I wear oils mm -hmm. and it's like a vanilla smell. So like every time you smell vanilla, I want you to be like, Harush. I like to swing my hips under a pink fedora. That means to me, I like to twerk. Dude, when she rolled up to her birthday party this year, I was like, excuse me? I like to be let out on the playground sometimes. So I like to swing my hips under a pink fedora. And you see me, I'm the brush queen of cut and corners. I'm gonna let you do this one because Ooh, okay, so I she's was like, the one that came up with how this. How do we say one thing about your past? Because, or your, you know, what you're known for, which is your incredible talent for makeup. So 
for me, when I'm writing, I'm always trying to string together as much wordplay as I can and then make it as potent as possible. Yeah. So that was easy. And I never yeah. got to write a line like that because I don't, yeah. I'm not a makeup artist. So yeah. I was like, oh, if it was me, I would be like about doing a cutting corners. Yeah. Like doing like a cut crease. Yeah. Is really hard to do. Not for some of us though, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but then she's switching lanes. And then, so switching lanes. I know that like I wanted to put a lyric where it didn't fit in the song, where I said, um, switching M's mm -hmm. from makeup to music. It's switching lanes on the beat, like switching lanes on the beat to the music. Mm -hmm. Give them ice, give them heat. Bitches drip so hard, they gonna drown in my seas. Get you a girl who can do both. Yeah. And now the seaweed is out and bitches are literally dripping in them. Yeah. Like it looks, I can't wear your glasses without someone stopping me on the Good. street and being like, those are Oh my are God, so, that makes me so happy. They're the, they're the go-tos for me when I don't have any makeup on. Yeah. Cause it hungovers. literally looks so done. Yeah. People are like, oh, she's got to have like a fat lash under that. <laughs> I'm like, no bitch, I'm naked eye. <laughs> we can be both. Mm -hmm. Give them ice, can give you heat. Um, what does that lyric mean to you? I just love the the way that people are always like, oh, that's hot or that's icy. It's like, well, yeah, those are opposite things. Yeah. And then I imagine like a piece of ice melting from the flame and then people are just dripping in your seas. Like I was like, yeah. there's too much wordplay here to not take advantage. Yeah. Tell them, yes, I'm a stunt. These haters want to judge, but life's too short to get along with everyone. It is too short. Life is beautiful. Life is short. The time that we have in this realm is mm -hmm. very short and do the most that you can to give to the universe, to give to your community, to give to yourself, to feed and nurture your soul. Everyone's gonna judge as long as like, there is this like nastiness in the universe. Everyone's gonna wanna like, talk bad about somebody else to make themselves feel better. And I think that these haters wanna judge. I just take it easy, no beefing in my bikini. All these bitches want the fire, but they don't, don't got, got the Khaleesi, Khaleesi the soul seeking. seeking levels that I'm reaching. Ooh. Never preaching, it's just how, how I, I see things. things. I did not know she could rap that fast. I was like, let me just push her. <laughs> let me just think. Honestly, I feel like I'm that one friend that you have that's like so super annoying if I'm drunk. I know the lyrics to every single song mm -hmm. and I'm like, like, and I just don't like <laughs> shut the fuck up like when I'm drunk. <laughs> I just take it easy, no beefing in my bikini. Bitch, I ain't gonna fight you. <laughs> All these bitches want the fire, but they don't have the, the Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Like, everyone wants to be that bitch, but yes. you don't have what it takes. Get with it, like, elevate yourself. Like, you gotta go through some shit to be able to be Khaleesi. Okay? Yeah. Like, Khaleesi wasn't Khaleesi until she. Literally got burned. Yeah. yeah. They thought she was dead. And yeah. then she stood up. Like everyone wants to be in the heat. Elevate yourself. Be Khaleesi. The soul seeking levels that I'm reaching. Never preaching. It just how I seek things. Every day is a lesson for me. I aspire to get to know my soul better, to be a better person, to give more to the universe, to give more to the people around me, to give more to the people that I love levels that I'm reaching. So there's like levels to like spirituality and how in tune you can get in with your chakras, with your abilities, with your senses, with your powers. I've always been afraid of being too preachy because I come from a very religious small yeah. town in Nebraska. So that was my thing is like, how do I do this without sounding like you're wrong? It's like, no, yeah. you're not. You're on your own journey, but I want to share these things that I've been through. Yeah. Never preaching. It's just how I see things. And did you like the wordplay? How C and S I wear? Think about it, think about it, eh? In my blacked out truck, moving like an icon. When the shit got rough, had to switch my lights on. Cause I made a couple plays, almost lost my life on. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I drive a blacked out truck. She does. I move like an icon, she always. Does. I like, you know, adornments. I made a couple plays in my life that I almost lost my life because of. It was my own decision that put me in that position. Mm. Now I gotta fucks with it if I spend my time on. After that, like I realized how precious my life is and that we don't have a lot of time. So a lot of the things that used to entertain me before no longer serve me. Mm. That's why I decided to do YouTube. That's why I decided to do the song. That's why I decided to make Seaware because I just wanted everyone to be popping at a low price. The song was just like, I have something to say. 
and I have to say it. I have to get it out there. Coming in for cheese, starting. Yep. <laughs> So that's Armenian, Kamin Pachid Thadins. First of all, it comes from my favorite song in Armenian, and it's like this like rap song, and I admire that group so much because like I remember listening to it when I was younger, and I was like, this is so dope. Hmm. Why are there no Armenian like rappers mainstream? Because like the language is beautiful, the instruments are beautiful. Hmm. I just wanted to bring my culture to light that it's so artistic and like. The words are so beautiful and so in-depth, even though it's like two words, what it's saying, Kamin Pachir Thadins, is like, to me, what it means, like, let the wind blow me wherever it pleases. I don't like really like plan out. I live in the now. I don't live in the future. I don't live in the past. Whatever serving me currently, I live by. Wherever the wind blows me, take me. In Armenian, I'll take you to the water and bring you back thirsty. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously, I wrote all these lines myself. <laughs> she so, came in like, we're going to be rapping in Armenian today. I was like, oh, <laughs> teach me. It's like almost touching base to my dark side mm -hmm. where, listen, the bitch has a temper. I try my best to hold it and suppress her. But I think a lot of spirituality is discovering your negative side mm -hmm. too. And then, hasta rojna, baby. Like, astarojna is in Russian, meaning be careful of me, mm. like caution. She's there also. She's in the waiting room. She is. <laughs> <laughs> like, waiting to be let out. So, like, just, she just needed a little acknowledgement, too. Astarojna, <laughs> baby. Give him ice, give him heat. <laughs> Bitches drip so hot, they gonna drown in my seas. I just take it easy, no beef in my bikini. All these bitches want the fire, but they don't got the Khaleesi. The soul seeking, levels that I'm reaching. Hey. Never preaching. It's, it's just, just how, how I see things. things. That's my favorite part of the song, probably, because we yeah. incorporated your native tongue. Yeah. I was like, that is so sexy, first of all. And second of all, who do you hear rapping in Russian or Armenian ever? I'm a pretty zen bitch. Hit him with the <laughs> sitting by the pool, meditating in Chanel. Mama always said that my word is like a spell. But when I see a hater, bitch, I always wish him well. Always wish him well, yeah, always wish him well. Mm. Blessings coming back like they going on sale. How you gonna win if you only give him hell? Huh? Wish him well. Wish him. Wish, wish him, him well. well. Wish him well is now streaming on all digital platforms. So move, bitch, and get to it.